He's the one that's getting ready to strengthen you. Open your enemy. Things take place. 
I mean, seriously, we get ready to get into that time. Because the Lord wants us to be aware of our surroundings. He said, no man knows the, the hour that the Son of Man shall appear, but we will know the season. I didn't know we're in a season where we're recognizing that things are happening in the earth. I'm not ignorant of safety, but I'm thinking about I love Obama, but Obama's not my God. Hallelujah. I don't know how I switch to be Republican this year. Amen. God, Lord, forgive me. Help me, Lord. I, I ain't had no, enough sense to know what I was. My mama just told me I was different. So I got old. We had political science. And, you know, every first vote. I was 18. I was a kid. I ran and got my vote. But me and my mama said, you better vote Democrat. I said, what is Democrat? She didn't say Democrat. She said Democrat. <laughs> now that as I get older, the standards that set, it makes you one. Am I right? You say, I ain't got no two million dollars in the bank. I'm doing being a Republican. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I'm saying to you all, uh, this time, take our time to pray. And ask God, who is the better man? Am I right about The better me. Now, I mean, like I said, I don't have anything against him. Don't get me wrong. I don't want anyone to think that. I love him. I love Michelle. But at the end of the day, we have to give an account of what decisions we made on this earth to make this a better world. Yes. Am I right about it? I didn't want a better world. You can't do anything about what people choose to do. But Christians, we need to make an impact in this world. Yes. We, are, we have gotten silent. We, we don't even speak anymore. I don't even see preachers doing any kind of stands. Remember Reverend Martin Luther King? He, he marched for civil rights, didn't he? That's right. That's right. Am I right? Yeah. I don't say too much about Jesse, but you know, he knew his little rainbow coalition. But at the same time, I mean, how many can you really say, just get out of here and say, let's go get these lost souls. Let's go get these lost souls out of the pit of hell. Come on, somebody. I told you that you're going to get a crown in your head because your name is in the Lamb's Book of Life. But I want more than one crown. I didn't say I wanted a martyr crown, but I didn't want a crown. You got to watch what you say. I ain't gonna tell you that. Because I know what a part of me. And I will be for God. I love God. I will God. I'm not gonna lie, because I do love God like that. And we should all have that confession. If you ever had an experience with God being born of the water and the spirit. Something about the Holy Ghost. It makes you do right when you want to Something about the Holy Ghost. Will turn your feet right when they go on that. Come on, somebody. Something about the Holy Ghost. Oh, y'all ain't ready to praise him. I'm saving my sermon for another church. This sermon too powerful for this church. I'm saving my sermon for another church. The church that I believe that God's going to seed into my life. Oh, come on, give God praise. <laughs> my brother had my back. He said, go, go. <laughs> That's right, brother. You know I'm telling the truth on that part. I'm going. Just have me preaching my heart out. You go out and still do the same thing. Don't pay you no attention. Amen? But today we are, we're going to be in break. We're going to be in grace with knowing. This is my confession. God is shaking heaven. God is shaking heaven like he's never shook before. He's getting ready to bring your promises to pass. There's getting ready to do angelic activity. I'm just giving this to you as I, I, I release it. Amen. There's going to be life in your tongue. That when you begin to speak, things are going to happen. That thing that hindered us so long and just keep hindering us and folks will wonder why you quiet and they're going to say,
say, what's wrong with you? It ain't like there's nothing wrong with you, but God is speaking to my spirit. And you know what? When he speaks to your spirit, you shouldn't open your mouth. Just be still and listen to the voice of God. Because the Lord is coming back. I don't care what anybody tell you. And people, well, they've been saying that over 2,000 years ago. When I read Micah, he preached 760 years before Jesus came on the scene. But yet, he preached a message of the coming. And that's it. And you think about it. We got people who've been saved for years and years and years before us. I remember the man that died before I came into that great fellowship with Bishop Hancock. He was noted as one of the greatest orators. I know you remember that name. And you know what Bishop Hancock said? He was a Pentecostal five brim, oh my God, hell and five brimstone preacher. He said the church is getting ready to pass. He said the church is getting ready to pass. The Bible says that it's going to start at the household. You know that? How many know that people act like we're obligated to call them to come to church? My daughter said that the other day, and I thought that was so riveting. I said, oh my God. She said, this bothers me. When you come to church, and people act like you just got to call them to come to church. My whole mama was born to church. I ain't never seen none of this. That's right. She said, used to go to church and she, she gave an example on Saturday. Tierra, what she know it's that. She said, but yeah, but we could have been half dead throwing up. I'll be like, come on, they get cracked all the <laughs> But guess what? It didn't do them no harm. That's it did them good. Come on, somebody. Am I right? Because a lot of Jesus is good, but a little Jesus is dangerous. How many know we need to fill up while we can? Yes. Tell your neighbor, fill up while you can. You don't know how long the gas station is open. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Today, the Lord impressed on my heart. I'm going to ask, before we get started, I'm going to ask Minister uh, Tim to stand and pray. The Lord wasn't expecting that. That's why I'm going to ask him. Thank you. 